Hi, welcome to Driving TV and I hope you are well. In this video, I will be helping you with stalling. Now many learners in the beginning, they find stalling is one of the main problem they face on their learning to drive in a manual car. So in this video, I will help you. I will explain what is stalling and how to avoid stalling. If you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos and let's start the lesson. Okay, so what is stalling? Stalling is when your engine cuts off because of lack of coordination with your controls. So what are the reasons the engine will cut off? What are the reasons when the engine will stall in a manual car? So let's talk about those things so that you could avoid when you are driving the car. Number one is because you're not giving enough gas before you move the car off. So before you move the car off, whether you are stop on the left and you move the car off or you stop the car on a traffic light waiting to move off or you stop the car at the end of the road and then waiting to move off or on the roundabout, you are waiting for a gap before you move off. You have to make sure that you have enough gas before you move off. Second is because for you to move off, you have to bring the clutch to the biting point. Many learners, they bring up with the biting point too quickly and they don't hold the clutch at the biting and that's the reason why they are stalling the car. So number one, because not enough gas and number two, because they bring the clutch up too quickly and they don't hold the clutch at the biting point for a few seconds. So my advice is for you to move off, give enough gas. If it's a flat road or uphill, if it's flat is 1500 rev and if it's uphill is 2000 rev. That's how much gas you need to give for you to move the car. And then you bring the clutch up to the biting point. As the car starts to move, hold your feet at the biting for about two to three seconds. And this is when many learners go wrong because they don't hold the clutch at the biting point for around two to three seconds. If you don't, you will stall the car. So these are the two reasons. These are the main two reasons. So I repeat, not enough gas or not holding the clutch at the biting point for long enough. Sometimes they do understand where the biting is, but they don't hold the bite for a few seconds. And that's the reason why you are stalling. The other reason is because many learners, they go to wrong gear before they move off. So normally, like I said, if it's a flat road or uphill, it's always first gear. If it's downhill, obviously, you can go to second gear. If the hill is going down, the car will roll anyway, you could go to second gear. But if it's flat or uphill, it has to be first gear. But many learners, they end up going to, they put into third gear by thinking that is first and that's just before the car moves off, you stole the car. So you have to make sure that you are in first gear on a flat road or going uphill. If it's not in first gear and by mistake you go to third or fifth, you will stole the car. So make sure that the gear is correct for you to move the car. And the other reason why you stole the car is because when you go up gear, so when you speed up, you go up gear, but don't go up too early. Because if you do, you will stall the car. You have to match your gear with your speed. So make sure that don't go up too early. Make sure the speed is correct for the gear that you are going in. If you go too early and the speed is too low and the gear is too high, you will stall the car. And the other reason why you can stall the car is when you don't put the clutch down just before you stop the car fully. Now, you stop the car with the brake, so you don't put the clutch down to slow the car. But if you don't put the clutch down at the end, you will stall the car. So say you are coming up to a stop, there's a traffic light coming up, or at the end of the road where you can't see who's coming, and you know that you will have to stop. Now, before you stop, you cover the clutch, but don't put the clutch down. Just brake, 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 and around two car distance from the place that you need to stop, you put the clutch down. If you don't put the clutch down, you will stall the car. So let me repeat, don't put the clutch down to stop the car. You stop the car with the brake, but cover the clutch and just before you stop the car fully, which is around two car distance from the place that you want to stop, put the clutch down. Because if you don't, 
you will stall the car. Many learners, they put the clutch down too late and that's the reason why they're stalling the car. So these are the reasons why um, you are stalling the car. So let me just repeat. Number one, no enough gas. Number two, because you're not holding the clutch at the biting point when you're moving off. Number three, you are trying to move off on wrong gear. Number four is because when you go up gear, you are going too early. Speed is too low for the gear that you are going in. And the last one is because, is because you're not putting the clutch down at the end just before you stop. If you are too late to put the clutch down just before you stop, you will stall the car. So uh, one of the main reasons the learners find difficult is the coordination between gas and the clutch. And this is the reason why they find difficult for them to move the car without stalling. So obviously on the channel, we have clutch control. There is a lesson on clutch control and I highly recommend for you to watch that video and try to master clutch control before you do anything else because if you don't master clutch control you will always find difficult for you to move the car without stalling so master the clutch control look at that lesson on the on the channel which is master clutch control um, so look at that video and try to understand what is clutch control so in this video i'm just going to go through again because on the other video you will see i do explain about the clutch control how to move the car so basically the reason is because many learners they find difficult to move the car without stalling is because either they are not giving enough gas so make sure you give enough gas first you give gas and you hold by giving as much you need so for you to move the car on a flat road it's 1500 rev and if it's hill it's 2000 rev so you press according to so say you are moving off on flat road you press it until it goes to 1500 and you hold don't let go many they press when it's 1500 and they let go they think that's enough you have to press when the rev goes to 1500 you hold so that's how much gas and then and then you bring the clutch up around where the biting is so feel the biting make sure when make sure you know where the biting point is once you know you hold once you hold, you take the handbrake off and then fraction clutch up. When the car starts to move, you hold. And you hold at this point for around two to three seconds. Because many learners, they make that mistake by not holding the clutch on the biting point for a few seconds. What they do is they bring the clutch up to the biting, they take the handbrake off and they bring it up. And that's why they're strolling the car. So make sure you go enough gas. So clutch down, first gear. Enough gas should be there. And you bring the clutch up to the biting. You take the handbrake off and fraction clutch up. When the car starts to move, you hold. You hold it for a few seconds and then gradually bring the clutch up. Not quickly. Gradually bring the clutch up and then give a little gas and then car starts to go and then obviously you change gear to second and then third and onwards so this is the main reason okay so let me repeat enough gas and then you bring the clutch halfway to the biting point when you do and then when the car starts to move you hold the car on the biting for a few seconds and then when the car starts to move gradually gradually bring the clutch up by holding the clutch on the biting for a few seconds i hope this is clear to you okay that's it for today and i hope you've enjoyed the video and i hope this video helps in this video i've talked about stalling the car and how to avoid stalling now make sure you understand what is clutch control and um, because without mastering clutch control you will always find difficult to move the car without stalling so in this channel i already have a video on mastering clutch control there is a lesson on clutch control make sure you watch that video if you haven't already and try to master what is clutch control and try to understand what is clutch control without understanding clutch control 
and mastering clutch control, you'll always have problem moving off and you'll always stall the car. Every learner or every driver been driving for long, um, they all stall the car every now and again. It's not the point of stalling the car, it's the point for you to understand why you stole the car and how to avoid and how to correct if you stole the car. The question is, if I stole the car in the test, does that mean I failed? Now, it depends on where you stole the car. Now, if you are trying to move the car from a stationary position on a very quiet road and you're trying to move off and where there is nobody around and you stole the car, it's fine. That will be fine. But imagine you're trying to move the car on a busy roundabout and you stole the car and you end up in the middle of the roundabout and your car stalls. What's going to happen then? You could imagine. You're not going to pass the test, are you? So make sure that, so if you ask the question, um, if I stole the car, is that mean I failed? The answer is, depends on where you stole the car. If you stole the car on a quiet road, it could be okay. But if you stole the car on a busy road, um, causing problem for others, blocking others, that could be a problem for you in the test. So you want to avoid and you want to understand and you want to know why you are stalling the car, how to avoid stalling the car. I hope the clutch control on the channel and this video should help you how to understand, how to avoid um, the stalling when you are learning to drive in a manual car. Thank you for watching. Please do make a comment what you think of the video. And if you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos. And thank you for watching and hope to see you again on the next video. Bye for now.